we're excited to announce MLS sold data is back. Now, recently sold MLS sell prices will be displayed as an estimate that is guaranteed to be 99% accurate. That's correct, 99% accurate based on our proprietary algorithm. Additionally, failed listings quick lists will return and failed listings and sell prices will be displayed by month and year. To get a better understanding of exactly what we've added and what it will look like in PropStream, I'm gonna go straight into the software demonstration. Let's begin with our quick list choices located in our search filter. As you can see, failed listings has been added back to it. This will give users like yourself the ability to identify properties that were listed on the MLS, but did not sell. When selected, users will be able to see the price the property was listed for and the month and year it failed to sell. We also made some changes to the MLS status filter section. The first change was moving the on market filter up one slot. Being that this was one of the most used filters in this section, it only seemed natural to make this adjustment. Some other notable changes are the new listing type filter. This will allow users to now isolate MLS results by whether they were listed for sale, for rent, or maybe even both. The MLS status drop-down menu now has three new options, failed, sold, and by popular demand, never listed. And finally, the keyword search option has been relocated to the very bottom. Now let's head over to the property details and go over some new enhancements. If you're in a disclosure state, here, you'll see public record and MLS. Public record will show you the sell price that was recorded by the county. If you're in a non-disclosure state, you will see our estimated sale value. For MLS sales data in disclosure and non-disclosure states, you will see our MLS sell data that is guaranteed to be 99% accurate based on our proprietary algorithm. Below the MLS sell data value, you will see the transaction date by month and year. Now for the biggest change in our property details page, the comparables and nearby listings. The first major change is that we've separated the public records, the green addresses, from the MLS records, the blue addresses, and we even gave users the option to use both side by side. So now, whether you're in a disclosure state and just want to use public records, or maybe you're in a non-disclosure state and you need to get access to MLS data, we believe we have what you need to determine the value of your next investment property. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy these latest updates and enhancements to PropStream. Please make sure to like and follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be kept up to date with the latest news and features.